So what makes a shaft low launch, low spin, or higher launch, higher spin? Good question. Again, comes back to how you load it, what that peak stress on the shaft is in the downswing. But effectively, you can simplify it down a little bit. If you have something that's very, very, very stiff in the bottom, that tip section is super strong, that would normally lower down the launch angle and get that spin rate potentially, and I use the word potentially a little lower. What I'd be very careful in this is, is if someone's more of a trap hitter, that sometimes a softer tip can actually trap and give them that squeeze effect, whereas a stiff tip can sometimes retain the loft and pop it up in the air. So then you've got to be a little bit careful, there's always nuances around it. But for predominantly, if something's going to be stiff in the bottom and stable down there, traditionally that would be slightly lower. Again, heavier shaft would tend to bring the launch down a little bit as well. That weight would squash the flight, a lighter shaft would kick it up in the air. And how, what makes a shaft high launch, low launch? Now, I'm not, I'm not a shaft designer. These guys are way cleverer than me. The guys at you know, Project Extra Temper or Acra, UST, super smart people, you know, they know what they're doing. You know, all the graphite guys like Graphite Design, Fujikura, Oban, VA, super smart people. But when you're looking at it in the realms of a fitting, if someone hits it high and they spin it, then you narrow it down by going, well, which one of these low launching shafts? Now, this is all relative compared to others in their range. There's no real, I mean, I guess cool clubs and hot sticks tried to do that profiling stuff many years ago about which shafts compared to which shafts are in that category. But effectively, when they say low launch, low spin, that's compared to the other shafts in their range. So you've got to be a little bit again, careful how you describe this because it's not compared to a Diamond Gold compared to a Project X because both of those shafts would tend to be what I'd call low launch, low spin. They're both very stiff in the tip, but a Diamond Gold profile is softer under the handle where Project X is a lot stiffer under the handle, so they feel very different, but they're aimed at the same player who wants to bring the flight down. And again, a, a KBS C-taper shaft would be, again, very strong in the tip and very strong in the handle and very strong in the middle. So that, again, would feel quite bawdy, but would bring that down. Equally, the KBS tour shaft, which is a traditional, which is the original one, softer in the tip, pops up in the air and launches higher and has that sort of mid-range of spin. So there's no sort of wrong or right in this discussion, but you know, if you do struggle for launch, then definitely try something either lighter, higher launching, or if you are a trapper, maybe a slightly stronger shaft in the bottom might help you retain the loft. It might not, and it might squash it, but it's worth a look at. So food for thought about how you describe a low launch, low spin shaft, because everyone pitches their stuff as oh, it does this, it does this, it's low launch, it's low spin, it's mid spin. It's all relative to other shafts within their ranges.